Hello everybody. In this tutorial we will show you how to make a circle with the use of two springy bones. Okay. You are now in the side view, okay, the z axis and the y axis. And here we have a springy mechanism, double springy mechanism and a single springy mechanism. Okay, the constraints for those uh, springy mechanisms are for this bone, okay, for the main rotation, and for this one for the length of this double springy mechanism. Okay, then check out that that if I want to make a rotation of a point in this plane, like. Uh, in the sample uh, in the other tutorials I can do it not with a single bone ma but with two with the combination of, of two springy mechanism okay if I link this one to this one I have a combination of a translation in horizontal and a translation in vertical okay and I can and I, and I have this okay to see more clear what uh, what is the movement I will attach this bone to this other bone okay Then you will see how the this uh, circle will move. Will move. It's it's going. It's describing a straight line, okay? Because of the x, the z coordinate and the y coordinate is are or they are um, in the same phase, okay? When it is zero. When this is the maximum, this is in the maximum also. If you want to have a rotation, you have to put this or this one in the minimum or when the other is in the maximum. I will explain to you more better visually, okay? <coughs> okay, we will go to the frame number one as usual as usual and make a rotation of this bone 19 degrees but negative okay and then have a look to this bone this is in the middle of the stroke now okay so if I select all these bones only they and make a click here you create a new keyframe, copy, go to frame number zero and paste and delete the keyframe. So now you have this springy mechanism in the middle of the stroke and this one in the more bigger dimension of the stroke. But you can see that this bone has moved in relative position to the target uh, uh, circle. So we need to make a movement of it <coughs> like this. Okay. So this is the link now, and this is the movement. You can see that it is screwed in a circle. Okay, this is a circle. But see what happens if we move also this other bone. And also, and then this, the horizontal stroke is smaller, and we can make an ellipse an elliptical movement
even if you rotate this one until this position the movement is only a stroke in vertical that is in fact the thing that we want in the front view okay so this is my small tutorial to let me show you how to make in the side view a combination of two springy mechanisms one variable length and another simple simple one to rig one point in the side view if you now reduce the stroke horizontal stroke with this bone you have the front view okay that will be shown in the next tutorial